Right, if you clicked here, then you're like me. You spend minimum two pound a week on lottery tickets and you want to learn how to win. Right, we'll stick to the end and we'll get to that. I'm pretty sure that you'll be happy with my answer. If not, then I'll just waste a couple of minutes of your time. To begin with everything, you've got to think of the reason why you're doing the lottery to really win it. You have to think about why you want it. And most people, they think that the money's going to change everything. And I'm not going to lie, it will change me, I'm sure. But the thing is, that strikes me is, is how unlikely we are to actually win it. You know, and you're all like, oh, you're more likely to get hit by thunder. Actually, statistically, you are more likely to get hit by thunder, not thunder, thunder's, thunder's sound. Oh, it's too loud, it's too loud. No, <laughs> you're more likely to get hit by lightning four times, not once, four times. And I'm not sure if that's standing in the same place because apparently lightning never looks in the same place twice. But I'm not gonna lie, I would be pretty confident standing outside my house with an umbrella and a thunderstorm that I wasn't gonna get hit. But yet, we still go for the lottery. Just look at statistically how unlikely you are to win the lottery on Google. It's amazing. Like, it's just ridiculous, right? You're more likely, I think, to win the Oscar twice, right? You're more likely to get twice as many Oscars as Leonardo DiCaprio. And we all know how hard he tried. All I'm saying is he should have pushed her off the door and he would have got it. <laughs> That's just mental, isn't it? Most of us doing a lot, we would all love to become a famous actor or singer. And statistically, we are more likely to become that. But yet, we think it's easier or more likely to win a lottery ticket. It's not. We're just wasting our money. It's just, I don't get it. Like, things I say, I don't get it. And I, obviously, it's a waste of money. But yet, every time, every time I go into a shop, I get at least one of these stupid like I guess it's easier for us to begin with yeah we're more likely to become an actor but that's harder work we think oh you have to bid loads of money to begin with you ought to spend so many hours it's just starting it off and it's the same problem with me with this I've been wanting to make YouTube videos since I was 16 I think and I've always been close I've always had the slight tools even to make crappy ones like this video is rubbish you know but all it takes is to just press record. We don't even have to, have to edit it. Blah, 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 blah. We don't even have to edit it. But yet, it's easier for us to spend money on lottery tickets, just hoping. You know, and that's the thing that annoys me about it. The thing that annoys me the most about the lottery is it's a tax on hope. You know, you put all that hope, you buy a ticket and you just sit in there with your cup of tea and you just, oh can't wait to have that house with that pool and that massive library and the big speakers and ceiling and the big swimming pool I just can't wait for it when instead what we should be doing is we should be using those dreams those hopes of ours to motivate us to do what we want not to just sit there and dream being like come Friday I've got all that it's going to be in my bank account I mean I don't know if some of you've read that book The Secret I've not read it, I'm not the best at reading, but I've heard some of the audio book. And it's a good thought behind it. You know, be really positive towards everything and you will get everything. Always have that positive outlook on life, but it can be interpreted wrong. It can be interpreted to make it look like you put all hope and just every thought, happy thought of you, that house, you are gonna win that lottery ticket. You are gonna get that money and it will come to you and it won't and I think that is that's the worst thing you can do because it's just gonna hit you like a train when you realize that it hasn't worked and then you spend the rest of the next week being like I should do this I should get this all done until you buy another one I guess what I'm just saying is take that two pound that two bob two quid whatever right and get yourself a bottle of coke and a packet of Haribo and sit down and just start to do whatever you want to do. Whatever it is, if it's acting, then just pick up a book. 
just pick up a book and read it. Or if you're not the best at reading, that's fine. There's plenty of really rubbish versions of audiobooks on YouTube, but they're free. You know, just whatever you want to do. Want to be an accountant? Don't know how you become an accountant, but I'm sure Matt is in there somewhere. Do your friends accounting? I don't know. Just don't be worried what other people are thinking. Don't worry what people think about you. Worry about what you think about you. And just change the way you are. Well, not change the way you are. Stay the way you are, but change your motivation. Use that hope that you're going to spend on that lottery ticket to win your own version of the lottery. Because, yeah, we all want loads of money and we think it's going to change things. But what's the one thing that will really make us happy that we really want to spend the rest of our lives doing? And for me, it's entertaining. I want to do that. I like to try and be funny. Probably not working much. No, how about a quick joke? How to build his party. They raise the roof. Just set your own lottery. You know, think what... Not money, though. If you're good enough at anything, the money will come. Obviously, you get people that are YouTube like, oh, I've never done it for the money or this. You know, if you set the goal to be the best, that money's going to be there. Just set your, your lottery to something else. Like, my lottery would be to get a couple views on a video or just to put it out there simple small lotteries that's what we should do set simple small lotteries each week what would our, my lottery be what would it that I want to win and yes I'm putting this up I'm winning because I'm doing it and someone else somewhere isn't so I am winning and I think we need to set it and then set a monthly goal of me to personally try and get so many views or do another one do something else do a longer video do a funnier video do a better video but always looking back at what I've done and just set goals just set them and go for them you know, reach for the stars do 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 just, oh. our targets our goals our lotteries we should always make them something that we can control not to be me to get oh I get a million views in one video no I can't control that I can control a couple I could maybe try and get five or six you know that's not something that's out of my control I could try and get other people to look at my video so that's not out of control keep it something you can control and keep your world yours don't make it a tax on hope Make it yours. Make it yours and win your own lottery. You don't need to waste that money. Save it. And I'm guessing it's a message to myself, this. Because I need to look back at things. I need to improve. If I look back at what I've done, I can improve and see this and remind myself to set little goals for you to reach that aren't out of reach and that isn't just a throw of the dice isn't isn't just luck it's something you worked for that I worked for not just sitting wasting your rope you know I mean it's great if you manage to win one of these but don't put all your money into the lottery around around 40 to 45 million people each week buy a lottery ticket but the jackpot's only 9 to 19 sometimes just think about that it doesn't doesn't bode well. It's like someone going, right, there's 100 people of us here. We're all going to put a pound in, right? But the jackpot's only going to be £15. No one would normally do that. But it's just the bonkersness of the prize that people think, okay, I can do this. I can win it. I'm going to put my money in it and I'm putting my hope into it. All right? If you're just doing it, it's the one off display. Oh, let's just chance it. Let's just it. That's fine. But when you put all your hope onto it, don't do that. See your own lottery, your own goals, and achieve them first. One thing as well I think you should never do is never set your own numbers. Maybe just one off, but never do them each week because that's what hooks you. Because you're like, oh, I've done it five times. Now what if I don't do it and my lottery numbers come up? I'm going to kick myself for the rest of my life. So... Just don't set your own numbers. As always, I have a joke. Pre-warning. Slightly sexist, but not really. Because it's a joke. 
What's the difference between a man arguing with his wife and a man with a lottery ticket? The man with a lottery ticket actually has a chance of winning. <laughs> There's a few facts surrounding lottery of you not being able to win it, of the chances that you have of something else happening rather than you winning, right? Well, you're more likely to be struck by asteroids. That's how much the chances have increased nowadays. You're not just likely to be struck by lightning, you'll be more likely to be struck from an object out of space, right? From miles away, billions of miles away, that is destined to hit you. Well, I don't believe in destiny, but that is hitting, you're more likely to be hit, right, than you to win, right? And that's the least thing anyone would expect on a day out. You know, oh, I'm going to London, going to go buy Heat magazine, whatever, right? You don't think, oh, I could, you know, bad things might happen, I could get mugged, whatever. Or, no, I could find some money on the floor. The least thing you expect is to be hit from a rock. You know, but yet we all expect and hope to win a lottery ticket. Crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Right. The chances of you dying on the way to get a lottery ticket is more than you actually winning a lottery ticket. Some of these facts are very morbid, I know. But what's more morbid and sad than you putting all your hope into something that just won't happen? I mean, I don't mean to be a killjoy, but I'm trying to be a motivator for you to put your hope into something that is achievable, that is more helpful to you than what you want in life. But at the end of the day, it's your own life. You do what you, as you please. But I'm going to try and do what I set. Set little goals, little lotteries for me to win. And I set my goals and be like, that's what I'm going to win, that's what I'm going to do this weekend. And once I've done them and I've achieved them, I can be happy and just more proud of myself than sitting doing nothing, waiting for all that money to come in from a lottery ticket that's never going to pop into my hand. So that, ladies. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. That's how you win a lottery, right? Not this. Oh. Not this slight bit of clickbait, what, but what is it nowadays, right? But that's how you win your own lottery. You make your own lottery and you win it. You set your own tasks and you do it. You just do it. See you next time. Bye. So, that's it. That's all I have to say. Well, I could go on for a while, but for today, that's it. See you later.